other one. Starting off, I used some complete seasoning, some Himalayan sea salt, onion and garlic powder, black pepper, paprika, and some cayenne pepper. And then I mixed it all up. Next, I cracked two eggs in a bowl, added some milk, and then I mixed it all up. So right now, the grease is... Next, I line my baking sheet with some plastic wrap, and then I take one piece of chicken, split it in half, and cover that with some plastic wrap, and then I just take a can and thin it on out. I really don't like thick pieces of chicken, that's just me, but if you prefer that, you don't have to do that step. Next, I take the seasoning, and I coat the chicken with it. Next, I take my egg mixture, and I coat the chicken with that as well, and then I just let that sit. Now for my flour, I add some sasson completa, some black pepper, salt, garlic, and onion powder, and then I mix that on up. So first, I'm gonna dip the kids chicken because after I dip their chicken, I'm gonna put some paprika and cayenne pepper in my flour. Okay, so it's beginning to flow in. The bubbles are starting to die down, so that's a good indicator that the chicken is ready so if you like me and you do not like mayo put a little ranch and buffalo sauce together so instead of mayo it's going to be spicy ranch so to assemble this we're going to start with the sauce on the bun i put my pickles on the bottom because that put that beautiful piece of chicken on there some lettuce and tomatoes. This is the kids chicken sandwich. It came out so perfect. So this is my version of the chicken sandwich. According to my kids, this is a Krabby Patty. They really love SpongeBob. And on the inside, you see this nice, juicy, crispy piece of chicken. It was so good. You guys should give it a try. That's all for this video. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video.